Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Godzilla vs. King Kong surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Godzilla vs. Kong surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. So I'm going to start by lining up my paper with the corners, and I'm just going to give it a nice fold right down the middle. So that way it's kind of like a birthday card. Next, I'm going to line up the corners one more time. I'm going to give it another nice fold right down the middle. And this way, when I open it up, I've got these nice little guidelines where I can keep the inside of my drawing. And I always like to turn my paper this way so I can open it down like this. Now to start off with this, let's begin with Godzilla. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's just going to come down and then back like this for the eye. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to come over and then up. I'm going to bring this line back and I'm going to add a couple little lines that come down. Then I'm going to make a little line underneath here. Next, starting here, I'm going to bring this line up and then down. Bring it back here and down and then right to here. Next, I'm going to bring this line down to here. And then I'm going to make a little curve line for the nose. Draw a line going to come down and in. And then a little line is going to come down. It's going to go over and then up for the jaw. Add a couple little curved lines for Godzilla's neck. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to curve down here. Next, I'm going to bring this line down. And I'll add a couple little curved lines just to show it's got kind of like the scaly belly. Next, starting here, I'm going to add a few little points for one of his spikes. And then that's your Godzilla. Now over here, I'm going to draw Kong. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to make a line that's just going to come down. And then it's going to come back here in like a check mark. Then I'm going to curve this down and then up. I'm going to bring this up and then down. Bring a little line down here. And then I'm going to make a curve right here. It's going to come down for the nose. I'll make another little curve here. I'm going to bring this line down and then in. I'm going to bring this line down and then up to here. I'm going to curve this in. And then I'm going to bring this right to here. I'm going to put a couple little lines down. Next, I'm going to make a little oval shape here with a little curve inside of there. Next, I'm going to put a couple little points down here. And then I'm going to make a few little points up here for the back of Kong's head. And then I'm going to put a few little points down here. Now my next step is I want to open this up and draw the inside. Now once I open this up, I have my two halves of Kong and Godzilla. So let's go ahead and begin with Godzilla. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then I'm going to bring this line up. I'm going to curve this line back to here. 
I'm going to bring this down. And then I'm going to connect this line to here. Next, I'm going to make some teeth. So I'm going to make some different size teeth in here all the way to the back of Godzilla's mouth. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to make some different size teeth, some bigger, some smaller. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to curve down. It's going to come up and then back for the tongue. Now, before I add his blast, let me work on Kong. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to begin by making this line come down. I'm going to curve this around. I'm going to bring this down, and then down to here. I'll bring this line down, and then this line up. And then I'm going to curve this line all the way around to here. Now starting here, I want to make a fang for Kong. And I'm going to make another pointy one down here. Then I'm going to make some smaller rounded teeth on here. And I'll do the same thing here, just some smaller rounded teeth. And then I'll make a little line that's going to curve down and then around for the tongue. Now, starting here, I'm going to bring this line down here. And then I'm going to make another line that's going to come down here. Just show that there's the back of the mouth there. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here on Godzilla, but I'm only going to go halfway. So I'm going to stop right about there. And then I'm going to bring one right up here. I'm going to make one here. And then one right here. Now, over here, I want Kong to be holding his axe. So it's going to look a little weird how it's coming out of his mouth, but it'll work. So I'm just going to begin right here, and I'm going to start by making a line that's just going to curve. We're going to come down and then up here. I'm going to make a line that's going to come out and around. One more here, and then one more right here. Actually, we'll do one more small one here. Next, I'm going to make a zigzag line to here. And a little line right around here for his arm. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up. Two little points and then down. I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. And I'm going to put two little curves on it right here for the bottom of the axe. Right here, I'm going to put some curve points on there for the axe. And then a couple small ones on this side. I want to make two little lines here and then two right on this side. Now, over here, I'm going to make Godzilla's Atomic Blast. So I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out. And then a line's going to come out here. And then I'm going to make some big points all the way around here. And some big points over here. I'll make a couple more right around here. And there you go. There is your drawing of Godzilla versus Kong in a surprise fold. So when I have it all folded up, I have Godzilla and Kong facing off. And then when I open it, he's shooting his atomic blast and Kong is blocking it with his axe. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.